Hey everyone, Lomax here, and welcome back to another Borderlands video. In the last episode, we were just about to enter Skag Gully, and now we're here, and we're getting ready to take on Nine Toes. Let's go find him. That has a higher fire rate. Probably gonna switch to that, honestly. Take a shotgun, I mean, if for some reason we run out of combat rifle ammo or repeater ammo, at least we'll have that. Alright, so we're gonna meet our buddy Nine Toes now. <laughs> you woke the wrong dog. Ah, yeah. And we're gonna give him our target to meet. We should be able to do quite a bit of damage to him. Alright, take that clipper. We're gonna take this and we're gonna burn his skags. He is gonna be on us. Wow. So one one new thing with the remaster is that you get really good weapons when you kill bosses. Not all bosses, because I mean, wherever he is, where did he? He died there. So yeah. So um, Nine Toes gave us this clipper, which I think I think other enemies who drop unique weapons can still give you purple weapons. But, like, you know, his skags gave purple weapons. Other bosses will now give purple weapons. Pretty much guaranteed, even at this point in the game. Hey, newcomer. I've been looking for you. Is that a joke, TK? You can't see it. Alright, we got another point. We're going to throw another point into impact. Two away from Metal Storm, and now we got to go back to Zed. Explosive nerve. Let's check. Let's check the vendor to see if we can get a longbow. Transfusion. Oh man. All right. Well, we'll probably find one eventually. All right, let's check out this bounty board. Okay, we got a couple quests. I think we're gonna probably do the side quest here. So we gotta go back to Skag Gully. Easy quest right there. You get 776 experience just for walking to them. Oh, I didn't know this either. It shows you um, whether or not a mission is optional, too. Oh, yeah, he has two quests for us. We'll do both. Both are pretty easy. I mean, level 9, I don't really think that's indicative of the level. I mean, we're, we're at level 8 anyway, so this won't be too bad. But, I mean... Just because it's at level 9 doesn't mean it's actually... You need to be at level 9 to do it. I mean... It's not really that hard. But Bonehead's gonna be... I, I can't remember what level he's at. I don't know if he's at 10 or 12, but... Fighting over-leveled enemies in this game is a lot more punishing than it is in Borderlands 2. So fighting an over-level Bonehead would be pretty rough. You know, we can pick this one up, too. We got two Echoes to pick up. Alright, so this first deck is right here. And we pick that up. And we got a chest, too. Uh, we'll throw the turret down. The turret will just... Got some skags for us. We get a new fire combat rifle. I might actually use this, honestly. Fire will be nice to have, plus I want to work on... Getting my combat rifle proficiency down. Got some rack. Rack hurt in this game, too. They toned him down in Borderlands 2. They toned a lot of enemies down in Borderlands 2. Skags, I don't think, are as menacing as they were. Spider ants. And, all, and pretty much any enemy that's in this game is, uh, has been toned down in Borderlands 2. Alright, we got Scar here. Maybe I should have saved the turn for him, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll make do. See, another purple here. Good, pretty good shield, actually, it looks like. The capacity's higher. We got another point here, so we're gonna throw another point into impact. Almost maxed out there. Let's see what this is. So, just a high fire resistance. I don't think we're really gonna run into too much fire damage at this point in the game. And we got TK's leg. Gonna be a lot of skags here. 
Which I think makes sense for a place named Skag Gully. Very aptly named. Skag sounds so menacing. I don't know what it is. They just they just don't sound as menacing in Borderlands 2, but they, you know. I think they have pretty much the same sound effects. Alright, so we got the last seed. We got a chest here, but we're gonna turn all this stuff in and hopefully all we'll be right. pretty we close to level 10. Three. What do we got? Bouncing Betty. I'm gonna take the Bouncing Betty for now. I'm still looking for that longbow. Has a sniper. Get fire rate. I love all sniper rifles. TK's wave. Time. Not a hybrid. We're gonna put our last point into impact, and then we'll be able to start going down right, towards Metal Storm. So let's go turn this one into Zed, and we're at level 10 now. Five <laughs> Drive just teases us. This whole game about not finding the vault. Alright, so let's go ahead. We're gonna go try and kill Bonehead. I think we'll be okay, because I mean we got this handy dandy turret. Should help out a bit. We can pick some guys off too. Let's see. We have we have that tall sniper rifle now, so that should be Oh we got this one too. I'm gonna use this. The fire rate is pretty slow though. Wow. It's a lot slower than I thought. You know, you don't realize how slow point three is until you actually shoot it, I guess. But I think if we if we shoot melee, then we can shoot right away. We don't have to wait. Except for when we have to reload. Only time we have to wait. So let's throw that out. Right, where's Bonehead? There's Bonehead. Let's start wailing on him. Try and get to his health. Yeah, see, he's at level 12. If we try this fight any earlier, we're going to be in some serious trouble. Just chuck grenades at him. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's the stuff. So, before the remaster, you actually used to be able to get a car. There's a, there's a fence somewhere over to the right. You could actually hop over the fence if you if you know where to jump. I'll take this. Oh, I don't want to lose that though. But anyways, so you used to be able to jump over the fence and get a catcher ride before you actually unlock the catcher ride. So you could run or you run there, grab the catcher ride, or grab the vehicle, and then drive through here. But you can't do that now because they blocked it off with this thing. So, we'll go turn this in, and we're going to get a vehicle. Spot a car. I think we're going to go with the red. I don't know why I like red, though. Mounting up. That right That's one, I guess. Cute, man. My red was awesome. So, you could add... This is the gauge. You could hop over, I was saying. There used to be a spot on the other side. You could jump on, and you'd be, like, three feet off the ground. And then you could hop over the rest of it. All right, another point. We're gonna put one more into Metal Storm. We gotta open this sucker. Get some more XP, and we gotta go back to Zed. This is what I was saying. We have to keep going back to Zed. You find a fella named Shep near the crossroads on the way to the mine. All right, so we got a weapon SD, so now we can throw a third weapon on. What do we want to use? We can do a sniper rifle, I think. Could do the ladyfinger. I mean, we got options. Probably not the TK's wave. I think I'm gonna put the sniper rifle on. All right, we're gonna go meet Chef Sanders. He's gonna give us some quest ruse to do. Some we need to do, and some we don't need to do. But you know what? I think we're gonna do all of them. I can probably just snipe this guy. Ah, boom! Headshot. All right, so that turbine's over there. We're gonna we have to go in here anyways to grab it. Something for another quest, so we'll get that. There should be a guy up here. A couple guys up there, actually. I'm gonna close this door. Now, nothing will hurt us. That's done, and then I think all we have to do is kill Rack, and we can go back to Shep. Turn these in. Shep here, we're gonna talk to him, turn these quests in. Shouldn't be close to level 12. Hey, there we go. All right. We're going to throw a point into Metal Storm. 
And I want to check what level this is at. So, level 14. Hmm. I know there are a couple quests. You know what we can do? We can go farm Scar. Let's go Let's go do that. Get a couple levels. And then we can head off to find the mine gate key. Alright, so I'm pretty stupid. And I forgot that Scar is actually at level 9. So we're not really getting a whole lot of XP off of him. But I do have another idea. Um, we can hop into one of the DLCs. I don't know what level these are going to spawn to. They might spawn at 15. Uh, you know, I don't know. I guess we'll see. We're going to start in Claptrap's DLC, though. I don't think we're going to go past the first mission just yet. But we can at least do the first mission. The first mission is you just kind of run through a bunch of stuff. You don't really need to do much. Let's talk to Tannis. Level 15, we can do this. Going it's going to be a little tough if we get caught. So these scale to the story DLC. Not the story DLC, I'm sorry. It's just they, they scale to the story level, so I think the next story mission is level 14, so this is going to scale to 15. But if we came in after, if we came in to this before Bonehead, I think it would only be at level 10. So I think we'll do this, just this first mission. All we have to do is collect a couple parts. Shouldn't be too bad. And then after that, we're going to try the Ned DLC, and we'll see if we can do it or not. I don't know how hard it's going to be. I have no idea what it's going to scale to. But this we just got to run through. Everything's going to be overleveled. This might be a problem. I don't even know if we're going to go kill this guy. Uh, we might be able to, but it's going to be with the Psycho. Like it's probably going to be easier. Yeah, this is going to be pretty rough. We just need to run, though. The turret, we're going to need the turret, too, for um, all these parts. Right, let's throw out a med kit. I'm going to burn all of these here. Most likely. Wow, okay. Come on. No, I don't think we're killing him. I think we're dead. Oh, I could have killed him, maybe. Oh, I think he probably died, too. But anyways, we can hop on this. Sneak in. Throw that down. Hopefully, uh, just grab this. All we need is this piece right here. Now we're good. We can run. Doesn't matter if we die now. No. Save some time. Alright, now we can just run around here. The next pieces are over here, so... We're clear of this. This is a lot easier with Brick or Lilith, because... Lilith can go invisible and run fast, and Brick can just run fast. We got two more pieces, and th honestly, that one was the worst one. So these, uh... These shouldn't be too bad. Jump down here, we're gonna take some fall damage. Wow, that's a lot of fall damage. And that's everything. Now we just gotta turn it in. Okay, so we're like halfway to 13. Alright, Blake. I'm gonna cut you off. We're gonna travel to Jacob's Co. I wanna see what level these DLCs are... Or this DLC is gonna spawn to. It's probably gonna be the same thing. 15. I think we can do the first mission. Maybe the first two. After that, probably not. But we're going to come back and do these. Alright, everyone. I'm going to end this episode here. In the next episode, we're going to continue on through Jacob's Cove, and we're going to see if we can try and find Dr. Ned. Thanks for watching, everyone.